Hey Aaron, I am going to do this small tutorial for you and I hope you will find it helpful. I have already Stella and I have head. It's not stew that you have in your assignment and it's not the same head, but I didn't find the same head that you have in your assignment. I hope that won't be a problem for you. So, I'm going to show you one trick because I did this constraint with the head a lot of time, a few times, I don't know how many times today because I tried to do it and yes, it was horrible and I understand that you're struggling in this but I, I find some way and I hope it will help you because uh, this is hard. Okay, uh, the first thing you need to do constraint twice. So the first time you need to constrain head and this hand. The second time you need to constrain feet, head and again the same hand. So it's impossible with the same object to do to constrain in one shot. I tried many times, believe me. So you need one trick <laughs> as you are uh, doing this shot, you will do some tricks. You need two heads. Yes. One head I have it already. I put it one layer and call it head one. Yes. And I'm going to amp and going to take another head. This head is bigger because I make this first head smaller. 0.7 so 0. Oh come on. I'm not doing the same. 7. Yep. And I will put this head to another layer. Head two. Yep, I have it. Uh, right now I don't need this head. Head two. Uh, so I will uh, make it not visible, but before I want to key everything I have. I will select Stella, key Stella, select the first head, key, first head, select the second head, key the second head. And I will make it not visible and put it to reference so it wouldn't disturb me. Right now I'm working with my head one. Okay, let's do constraint. Let it be frame 3. I notice that you use FK mode to your shot and uh, I saw a lot of tutorial and a lot of people told that it's not possible to use FK mode to constrain. I know that it's possible, but in this case you should make constraint to skin. And honestly, I don't know how to do it. I show it a lot of time. I watch it a lot of time uh, in tutorials. But you should be good in rigging. You should find joint and make constraint to the joint. So it's it's hard. Better to do it uh, with IK mode. So we have frame. Let it be frame three. And in this frame, select all key. All we will switch to an I key mode. So we need another frame, the next frame. It must be the next frame. This frame you have F key mode. Key selected. But the next frame you want to have I key mode. I key mode, key selected. So you start with F key, F key, and then go to I key. Nothing happens with the animation. Everything will be cool. So let it be frame six.
It looks cool. Yep. So, select all, key selected, head, selected and keys. Cool. You need two frames to switch on and switch off your constraint. So it will be frame 6 and 7. Key selected and 7 key selected. And to the Stella select, key select. So we are ready to do our constraint. You need two things to the simple constraint. First thing it's locator. Create locator. It's tiny locator. I'm going to do it bigger. Yeah. And I want to put this locator to our leading object. Our leading object is our hand. So I select hand, then shift, select locator, then go constraint, parent, and uh, I don't need it. If I uncheck main set, uh, maintains offset, this locator will go exactly to the uh, place where is my hand located. That is cool for me now. Another thing that I must to have it's nerves circle. It's a nerp circle that I'm going to put to my head. But before this, I need cool things. These things. This is my nerp circle. I will call it first part circle. I will set it parenting to the locator. It's very important. How to do it? There is uh, different ways to set parenting, but the most simple way is to select uh, child, middle mouse, drag, and put it to our parent. Parent is locator. So locator is parent. So now, when I... Oh, sorry, it's bad. You see, if I move hand, the circle also moved. But I don't need circle in this position. I want to put it uh, to my head. Not so cool, but let me. And I need to constrain the circle to my head. I do it very simple. I select circle, then shift, select head and constraint parent but this time I don't need uh, this maintain offset because I if I will uh, uncheck this box the head will go up and will uh, put it to the uh, center of the circle and I don't need it because I have already put my head in this position that I, uh, that I really want. So, that's cool and that works. But I want to have option to switch on this constraint and switch off. That's why I need to frame 7 and 6, I think. Yes, yeah, 7 and 6. So, I key everything. The circle and locator and as I know already my Stella is already keys and my head is already keys so now I take locator it's my leading additional object and if it's uh, keys it has blend parent set to null what does it mean? it doesn't mean that in this frame nothing happened so if i do this nothing happened but i want something 
to be constrained so I go to the frame 7 and select my locator and put blend parent 1 and then key selected so frame 6 nothing has happened yeah nothing but in frame 7 the medic is done cool so I can do my animation I go to the frame 9 let it be yeah let it be frame 9 I like it. Yes, it looks cool. But uh, I want to correct my hand. Yes, that's much clever way uh, to put my hand. But now I have problem with my head. And this is good thing with this constraint that I show you. You can easily make correction. What I need to do? I need to grab my circle. Yes, it's my circle. And then add a correction. Okay, cool. I like it more. So, in this way, S to select it, my head selected, and Stella selected. I forgot about locators. My locators is selected. And keys. Let's check our animation. One frame, nothing has happened. Frame six. Oh, not so cool. <laughs> frame seven. Everything is connected, but it's connected. Uh, in this position that I did before. And in frame 9 you see this correction with the head is saved so I can easily do any correction without uh, ruining my animation. In every time if I need to do some correction here I will do it. So, for example, I want to put my head in this position. Let it be. So, 6 in this position, 7 in this position, then up. It's exactly the same position as I left it before. Okay, I'm going to switch off my constraint. So, if you, if you remember, I need two frames for it. 9 and 10. I take my Stella, select all, keep all, frame 10, select all, keep all. Same with the head. Oh, I got nothing. S, frame 10, S. The same with locator. S and S. Same with the circle. S and S. And I'm ready to switch off. Um, Returning to the frame 9, as I see, blend parent is 1. That's cool, because I need uh, my constraint here, but in frame 10 I don't need it, so I put blend parent null, key selected, and I'm free. Yep, cool. So, is this in this frame? everything moves together but in this frame my hand is free free to decide okay chicken animation okay everything going cool so What I want to do? 
I want to to be the frame 10 this last frame where I need uh, my head one what's the reason because after this I want to go maybe frame 12 and I made something without my head and then return to the flame frame 14 and then animate with a new constraint so I want to switch my head I can do it on frame 10 where I don't need it or in frame 14 I don't care what it would be it would be frame 14 so, I am going to switch my head. How to do it? Very easily, really easily. I make my second head visible and I want to put my second head exactly to the same position as was my first head. So, how to do it? I select my first head then shift select my second head then constrain parent without maintain offset at cool press s to save my heads both my heads and then constrain remove target remove target i remove constraint because i don't need constraint to the head head to head and now i don't need head to one i make it invisible I play with head too, just clear that don't have any constraint before, so I can use it as I want it. Okay, making constraint. As you remember, we need two frames to put constraint on. Do it. Select all, key all, and to the frame 15, select all, key all. The same with our head too. Select all, all. Come on, that's not. Uh, S and the frame 40 S. Cool. Uh, this constraint will be, will be hard because we need to constrain leg to the head and the, this head to the hand. Before this I forgot about this leg. I want to uh, put it higher I'm trying to do this position that you do in your shot. Oh, it will be poor, but a little busy. So, S, S. I just uh, Put this key from black to other frames, and I forgot about this gimbal lock, so I need to put it to all frames. So that cool. If you see, we don't use this head before. That's why we don't have animation with this head. But if I make it not visible and put the first head, everything will be cool. So returning to our second head. Uh, I have everything ready. I need our constraint helper. First one is locator. Create locator. Make it bigger. Yep. And locate this lo put this locator to my leg. So I will select leg, then shift, select locator and then constrain parent uh, maintain offset at yes. Cool, this works. I hope this works. 
I will check it. Yeah. Everything works cool. And I need two more. I need to circle. Create one circle for my head. And I want to put it exactly to my head. To do it very quickly, I must do this one. I must select my head, shift, select a circle, then constrain, parent, then constrain, remove target. Cool, so I have this nerve score, but I put it exactly in the same position, so I will make it big a bit. Okay, to understand what curve I use. And I will name it second head curve. And I need one more curve. It's curve for our hand. Create nerve circle, small circle. And I will do the same. I will select my hand. Oh, it's very hard to select it. Then shift, select circle, then constraint, parent, constraint, remove target. Remove target is very important because I don't want to constrain the circle to my hand. Remove targeting is removing constraint. So, I can now uh, two additional circle that I want to be a child to my locator too. So I select circle, middle mouse drag, select circle, middle mouse drag, and I have this awesome parenting. Locator 2 is my parent, and to circle a child. Cool, and now the last part. Oh, I'm tired really. I need to put parenting to all of this. I know that I have already parenting mode to my leg, that is very hard to select, and to locators. Yes, I have it. And I need to const and this locator is also parent to our circle. So let's check it again. Yes, two circles must move. Oh. Yeah, everything move. So what I need, I need to put this circle to the head. So select circle, second head circle, shift, select head, then constrain. And in this case, I don't need maintain offset. Add cool. And then I have this one, shift, select my hand, and constraint parent. Everything must move. Yeah, look. But I need these two frames to switch off and switch on. So I did everything the same. I key everything. I key Stella. Select all I have. I key my head. I have key my head. I key my locator. I don't key my locator. So S and S. I must key the circle. S and S. I must key the second circle. S and S. Everything is cool, but very tricky things. This locator is already selected, but nothing has happened because blend parent is null. See? Nothing. So, this frame is cool to be null, but in this frame 15 I want to switch it off, on, so I put blend parent 1, then select it, cool, that must work, let's check it, oh. yep, cool, but we use this hand twice, 
and this is very tricky things and yeah, I will show you now. It created the blend parent to this hand, but we don't need it. We don't need it before. This one we don't need it really. So we must put blend parent null to all frame before this one. This frame 15. So I'm going to check all frame null cool selected null 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 and one yes so in the frame let be this one frame I can move everything yep cool and maybe in frame 20 I don't want to use hand so it's very easy I just blend parent null key selected and I don't use it so if you see in this position I use it I forgot to key everything because that's why I will do smarter. I want to key everything that frame 19. Select key. That's the thing that I told you before. You must keep everything, keep everything, keep everything. S. Frame plan S. Select all. Keep all. And now in this frame. Then parent 1. Frame 20. Blend parents 0. And I can move my hand without any problem. So now in frame 19, when I move leg, everything is moved, but in frame 20, when I move my leg and head, oh, my hand doesn't move. And it's endless. You can switch everything now. So we must check our animation from the beginning to the end. And you will have tricky scenes to uh, do play blast, but I think you will do it because it's very simple. We'll go into the frame, frame one, and we don't need our head two invisible. We need our head one. So we tap, 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 and we use it until frame fourteen. So you can make play blast from frame one frame 14 and then switch your heads and then make play blast with head to yeah okay I hope that will help you because I put to this constraint the whole day <laughs> to understand it and I'm sorry that I finished it uh, too late and I don't know when you will see this video because I'm going to send it to Google Drive and you can upload it and see it and I hope uh, this tutorial will be understandable for you. I'm sorry for my English, I'm sorry if it was too... Um, not too loud or not too clear so I tried to do it the best, it was my first tutorial. Okay, good luck Aaron, I will see you in the morning because it's uh, 12 o'clock midnight in my home. Bye-bye. <laughs>